Well, look what we have here, ladies and gentlemen. Devil Joe is finally making its appearance to Monster Hunter World on PC, and in true Devil Joe fashion, with very little notice. That's right, Devil Joe is dropping tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Monster Hunter World on PC. So prepare yourselves, because this is quite a bit of a fun fight, and the weapons are amazing. Now, we do not have a list of when we're going to be getting Tempered Devil Joe, but I believe we got it a week after Devil Joe's original release, so we may very well get it next week, or they may even drop it on Thursday's update tomorrow. We don't know yet. Capcom has had a penchant for adding events last minute to the event list, so we'll see if we get Tempered Devil Joe on Thursday. If not, I would expect to be getting that next week, and that is what you are really going to need to prepare for. It is great to see that Capcom is expediting the DLCs for the PC, so there is a very good chance the events will eventually tie up with the consoles and get releases at the same time. That is my hope at least, and we'll continue to see in the future if that will end up being the case. But for now, we do have Devil Joe, and I would highly recommend farming up the majority of his weapons because they are arguably in the top tier for each class. Now, Tempered Devil Joe will be the true challenge with this DLC. And keep in mind that this is 100% free. So those of you out there that do have this, you do not have to purchase any of the DLCs available for Monster Hunter World. Now, when this releases for the PC, you're probably going to wonder exactly how to unlock Devil Joe. What you're going to need to do is basically go to each of the areas and look for Devil Joe tracks. Most likely, if you found all the monsters, you will eventually see a question mark monster in a new area, and that's where you'll have to go to find footprints and unlock the Devil Joe quests and eventually encounter Devil Joe himself. So if you don't get question marks or unable to find any Devil Joe tracks in any areas, just jump to a new area and then reopen your map and eventually you'll be able to find a new monster where it wasn't before. There are some things to note about Devil Joe. He will invade six and seven star quests as well as investigations, much like Basil Geese, and they can actually encounter a turf war between the two of them, which is particularly fun to watch. So keep an eye out for that, and he can appear in any habitat. He's also very weak to Dragon and Thunder, less so to Ice, Water, and Fire, and is equally vulnerable to all ailments. His tail is severable, and his break, <laughs> his break, his chest and head are both breakable. These are points you're going to want to focus on, because Devil Joe's, de the Devil Joe gems themselves are going to be required for each weapon, so you're going to want to focus on cutting the tail, breaking the head and chest to get them from carves as well as as drops. Now you can cure yourself from defense down by using an adamant seed and you can get rid of the elemental dragon blight by consuming a null berry. So make sure you have plenty of each stocked up and it will make the fight a lot easier. You can also go for blight resistances in your builds which will negate the fact of having to carry those extra items in your inventory. Now I do have plenty of videos around the channel for anti-devil Joe builds as well as showing off each of the weapons and I'll try and come complete my weapon showcase with Devil Joe on the PC for any of those I missed while playing on the PS4. So definitely check those out. I will leave some in the description below and it will definitely help with Devil Joe and tempered Devil Joe when he's released. But anyways, this is just an announcement to let you all know he is coming tonight. So prepare yourselves and we will be live streaming. So keep an eye out for that. We will be live streaming with the viewers. So feel free to join. But anyways, I'll see you all later.